Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to ASTB Test Prep. Today I'd like to talk about spatial, spatial apperception. Spatial apperception is basically an observation. Um, and just to jump right in, <clears throat> you have to look at this box and you have to understand that this is the pilot's eye view as the pilot looks out of the cockpit. This is the picture he or she sees. And then what you have to do is look at these aircraft and you have to say which one of these people or airplanes represent this pilot and what he's looking at or he or she is looking at. Now another thing I want you to think about is your car. Think about your car, the dashboard. You know, you got your steering wheel and then you got your dashboard and then you have your windshield that you're looking out of. If the bottom of the square is even or parallel, runs parallel with the horizon, then the aircraft is in level flight. Uh, if the horizon splits the box in half, you're probably in level flight. Um, as far as your nose is concerned, like this aircraft here, the nose is level, it's not climbing or descending. So the nose is level and the wings aren't banked. Here's a bank aircraft banking left or turning left. Uh, if this wing, wing was up and this one was down, it would be banking, what we call banking or turning right. So we want to pay attention to what the horizon is doing, how it is in relation to our dashboard. Think of it as your dashboard in your car. If it's even like that, they're level. They're parallel, so they're level. And so the wings of the representative aircraft should be level. So we could throw this one away. All the other guys are level. Now, again, the horizon is split in the square, so I would say this is level flight. The land is to the left, and the water is to the right. So it looks like sea to me. And that is right. Um, let's do another one. Uh, okay. We have a lot of land showing. The, 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 the horizon is above the midpoint of the square and the horizon is also parallel to the dashboard so that indicates to me level flight so it could be this guy, this guy, can't be this guy, he's in a bank, can't be this guy, he's in a bank, can't be this guy, he's in a bank so I would go with the descent because I see a lot of land and the horizon is slightly above the midpoint of the square A Okay, here we have an aircraft, not a lot of land showing. The horizon line is slightly below the midpoint of the height of the square. So, to me that indicates a climb. The horizon is parallel to the dashboard. I'm calling it a dashboard and the aircraft to be like a glare shield. But I'm simply trying to help you guys establish what level flight looks like or, or what it's interpreted as. Um, so, let's just, for our purposes, call it a dashboard. And if the dashboard is parallel with the horizon, we're in level flight. So we could throw this airplane out, this airplane out, and this airplane out, because they are both banking, or what you would call turning an aircraft. Not a lot of land showing. I would say it's climbing. B. B is our answer. We'll do two more. Now, the dashboard is not parallel with the horizon. This is a right turn. Not a lot of land showing. The horizon is kind of, if this was level, the horizon would be slightly below the midpoint. So I think that this aircraft is in a climbing right turn. So let's look at our options. There's only one aircraft doing a right turn, and that's C, and a climbing right turn. So um, I'm going to go with C, and that is our answer. And last but not least, uh, we're about level. Our nose is about level. We're in a left turn. We're pointed out to sea. So who's in a level left turn pointed out to sea? This guy's pointed in to sea. Can't be him. This guy's not a left turn, but he's a right turn pointed out to sea. Can't be him. This guy's pointed out to sea, but his wings are level. Uh, so, and this guy's in a descending right turn. So the only left turning guy is this guy D. So, 
That's what you're going to have to be required to do with the spatial apperception. Okay, any comments, questions, concerns, put, please put them in the comments bo comment box. You know, just make a comment. If you need more spatial apperception vehicles, uh, vehicles, <laughs> if you need more spatial apperception videos, just put it in the comment box. I try to keep track of all my comments. Um, any questions, any videos that you want me to cover on the ASTB, I will. Uh, that's really basically about it. So, I'd like to thank you for watching the Spatial App Perception video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.